What's up logical people, this is Amar. A game of chess is played between two supernatural players. One of them can see the future and the other can read minds. The problem is, who would win the game? I'd like to thank Tejas and Sai for sharing this amazing puzzle. Recently, this problem has gone viral on many social platforms. People are sharing their thoughts in the question and answer forums. But there doesn't seem to be any reference answer from any of the known authors or mathematicians. In this video, I am going to share a solution based on my own detailed analysis. Take a screenshot right now and share it with your friends on all your social accounts. Now pause the video and think logically. Let's give friendly names to these players. This guy can see the future, so let's call him the Oracle. This player can read minds, so he is a mind reader. Before we jump into the solution, let's first analyze how a chess player thinks. When a player has to make a move, he thinks of several possible moves on the board, known as candidate moves. He then thinks of possible replies from his opponent for each of his candidate moves. And according to him, some replies can be good and some replies can be bad. For each possible reply, this player might already have thought of next candidate moves. And he would choose the best move according to himself. Again, he would think for the possible replies and give each reply a good or a bad remark in his own mind. Then the opponent replies with a move and this guy would continue the same process. The depth of calculation would decide who is stronger between the two players or if they are equally strong. Coming back to the actual problem where we have two supernatural players, so let's analyze their supernatural abilities combined with their chess skills. Now think from the perspective of the mind reader. The mind reader can read the mind of his opponent and he can compare his own calculation depth with the depth of his opponent. If the mind reader feels that his own calculation is stronger than his opponent, then he simply has to play his own calculated moves to easily win the game. However, if the mind reader finds that his opponent has deeper calculation compared to him, then he will simply play the moves that his opponent thinks are the best moves. So the game will eventually end up in a draw as they both are following the same depth calculation. And now the last case from the perspective of the mind reader. He reads the mind of the opponent and finds out that they both are equally skilled at chess. So there would be no need of copying the moves from the mind of the opponent. So the game will eventually end up in a draw as they both have equally strong calculation. An important thing to note here is that we are in the context of a riddle, which is quite different than a real life chess game. So when we say they are equally strong, then in the context of a riddle, their depth of calculation should be similar. And hence, in this case, the game must end up in a draw. So considering the supernatural ability of the mind reader, the possible game outcomes can be summarized as shown in the table. Using his supernatural ability, the mind reader has the ability to draw the game against a stronger chess player. Now let's think from the perspective of the oracle. The oracle can see the future, but he cannot read the mind. For instance, the oracle sees the future that his opponent is going to play the move e4. Since that is the future, his opponent will certainly play the move e4. And now the oracle has to play a move. And he himself has to decide the best move from his own calculation because he cannot read the calculation in the mind of his opponent, so he won't be able to see the best move from the perspective of his opponent. Also, he can only see the future, but he cannot change the future. So for instance, if he sees that his opponent is going to play e4, he cannot change it, because that's the future, otherwise it will invalidate the whole concept of seeing the future. So as per this example, the move e4 will appear on the board. 
That's why the oracle has to play his natural chess game. His future seeing ability will not help him in gaining any advantage. So against a normal opponent, the oracle will have a natural game. Whoever is stronger at chess between the two would win the game. Or if they both are equally skilled at chess, then it would be a draw. But when the oracle is playing against a supernatural mind reader who has the ability to draw the game against a stronger chess player, these would be the three possible outcomes of the game based on the chess skills of the mind reader and the oracle. And here you can see the mind reader is taking the advantage of his supernatural mind reading ability to draw the game in case if his opponent is stronger than him. So that was my detailed analysis and I highly encourage you all to share your own analysis in the comments section and feel free to connect over the email for any queries, suggestions and to share puzzles for future videos. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and share the video and if you are new, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated with a new logic puzzle every week. Till then give a try to this beautiful tricky riddle. Also check out aptitude problems on my channel Logically Yours.